Hey everybody, this is Paul. Um, last week a few of you asked if I could do a tutorial on a doubly linked list. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in this tutorial here. So basically a doubly linked list is a list that consists of a bunch of nodes and each node has the ability to hold some data. So for our case we're just going to put one, two, three, and four. That will be the data inside of our list. And it's doubly linked. That means that each node has the ability to link to both the next node and the previous node in the list. So it has two links. It's doubly linked. Each node has these two links. So we're just going to go ahead and draw that all the way through our diagram here. And this guy also has the ability to point to another node. And he's going to be the end, so we're just going to make him null terminate here. And this one has the ability to point to the node in front, but since this is going to be the beginning, we're just going to make this one point, point to null as well. So this is the basic structure of a doubly linked list. So really, this is a lot, it's, it's really similar to just a singly linked list. The big difference is the way we define our nodes. So to define a node for a doubly linked list, we simply type in struct and then name our struct node and then we do an opening curly brace and inside of here we're going to define what we want our nodes to look like so basically we want to have some data and so we're just going to do int data and so this is basically just creating a section inside of each node that is called data and it can hold an integer value and so now we have the ability to store an integer in each node so the next thing we want to do is we want to give our nodes the ability to point to both the next node in the list and to the previous node in the list. So the way we do that is we type in node star next and node star prev for previous. And then we're going to go ahead and end our struct here with our closing curly brace and our semicolon. So now basically what these two do is we've created this node now, this node object, to not only hold an integer value, but it also holds two node pointers. One of the node pointers is called next, and the other node pointer is called previous, or prev. And so whenever we type in the word node now into our program, our program knows that we're referring to this object that we've just defined here. So basically we can hold some data so we've got the data section here which can hold an integer and then we've got these two other partitions here and basically they each contain a pointer and this one is simply the next pointer and this is the prev pointer this one points to the next one in the list this one will point to the previous one in the list now as far as our program knows this next pointer can really point to any node we want it to any node we tell it to and this one can point to any node we tell it to as well. So it's our job as a programmer to instruct our program to basically have this one point to the next one and this one to point to the previous one. So in a nutshell, that's basically the concept of a doubly linked list. Um, I guess if you guys want, I can go ahead and do another example on this if you wanted to see how this is coded. But uh, if you want to see how a linked list is formed, uh, you should watch my other tutorial on creating a linked list and uh, but I guess if enough people want me to go ahead and build a linked list on the whiteboard like I'm doing here like I did in the previous video I can do that I just don't want to be too redundant with my information so basically if you guys want to see me build a linked list like I did in the first video let me know um, otherwise I'll just stop the tutorial here and uh, yeah so hopefully that helps you guys understand the double the doubly linked list it's pretty much like the singly linked list but it has this extra ability to point to the previous node in the list so anyway thank you guys for watching and have an excellent day and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe